Welcome and a very good morning to you all. A blessed Sunday today in our morning devotion. Yes, Nino Kukwa Saimose, Mangwana Nano, Zuarem Sondo, Apotru Sangana Tichi, Namata, and Kurumitsa Mgari. Let us pray. God, our Father, gracious God, we pray this morning. We give you praise. We thank you because you are worthy to be praised. We thank you for this blessed day, the day that you have given us through your grace. It is not by mighty or, or our intelligence that we have this day, but it is through your blessing. As we are here, Lord, we pray that you see us and you bless us this morning. We pray for all the people who are struggling this morning, who are grieving wherever they are. We pray, Lord, that your spirit of comfort will descend on them. We pray, see us here. We pray, we ask you, Lord, to be with us. Amen. Yes, today is Sunday. Yes, I want to thank God because he has given me the opportunity to come and share with you the word of God. I'm going to talk about facing death, facing death. Then I'm going to share uh, promises from God about facing death. Pamsoro peku tarisana nerufu. If we read the word of God in Psalm 23, verse 4, it says, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. If we read the Shona version, Mapisare ma 22, verse 4, inoti, jiro kwazo kunyangu ndika famba mpata omvuri worufu, andinga tungo chikiza kaipa, nukuti imi muneni, simbo yenyu no mudonzo wenyu, zino ndinyaraza. This is uh, David who is giving us the uh, promises about facing death. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Jirokwazo kunyangu ndika famba mpata omvuru werufu handinga tungu ochiki zakaipa nukuti imi muneni chimbo yenyu numudonzo wenyu zinondi nyaraza. What am I going to say about facing death? I wanted to say death is there and it's real. We are born to live on earth, but at the same time, time for us to die will come. God has made it clear. The word of God has made it clear. There is time to be born and there is time to die. Chimene chimwe chine nguwa yacho, kune nguwa yekubaru wakwa ita nguwa yekufa. 
Ndasaruza kutawura mazwi aya nasi pa usana pekuti. Mungu ya takatari sana nayo. Yatiri kuti mungu wa ino mngari huya ipindirai because of the global pandemic of the COVID-19. We are facing deaths. And the Tirikuona Marufu Akawanda Arikuya Awiaze Achuya Kumurikiza Nature Wereche COVID 19. Asi Jakadaru Tichinamata Tichikumbi Ramangari Kutimareva Pindire. It is also good to remind each other that we face death. We face death. So when we face death, what happens, what is expected of us, especially as believers? I was talking last time about God's comfort, that when God gives us the comfort, he expects us to pass on that comfort to others so that they are also comforted. So my message is death is the real death is part and the parcel of our lives it's with us we cannot run away from it whether we are believers or not we will face death but the message which i wanted to put across is that don't face death without facing god don't face God, death without facing God. In the Kuti, Usatarisane Nerufu Usingatarisane Namari Usatarisane Nerufu Pasinagutarisana Namari Mukatimo Penuaku. Again, I wanted to say, don't even speak of death without speaking to God. Don't even speak about death without speaking to God. Why? Because he and he alone can guide you through the valley. Even if I walk through the valley of death, I will fear no evil. This is David. So my message is louder and clear this morning to us brethren and even those who do not believe. Don't face death without facing God. Don't even speak of death without speaking to God. He is the only one who can guide you through the valley. When the valley is set before you, kananzira yempata omvuri werufu ya gadzirkwa, hautongo shikiku zoifamba, nekuti unenge wakatarisana na mngari. Others may speculate or aspire but only God knows the way to get you home. Ndiri kuti tivanu wanu kuna utawara zaka siyana siyana ni zaka daro pa msoro benzira ya tino famba tilipasipano. Asi mngari ndiye anoziwa, uye mngari ndiye anotitunga mirira kunzira yake ya hupenyu. Only God is committed to getting you there safely. That's why I am encouraging you. These are the promises from God that we shouldn't face death without facing God. We shouldn't talk about death without speaking to God. Let us talk about it. Ndosa katiri kukuruzila na kuti tinoramba tichi na mata, tinoramba tichi kumbila kuti panguwa ino mwari huyai, panguwa ino mwari huyai, panguwa ino mwari huyai. What we are saying there is that we are not only asking God to stop deaths, but we are asking God 
to face us, to meet us in death. We are asking God to meet those who are dying so that they die peacefully. We are asking God to meet those who are grieving so that they grieve with hope. So this is the message and the promise. There is, as I've said, that we cannot escape death. If you read Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 2, it says, we all must die and everyone living should think about this. We all must die and everyone living should think about this. Hanzi Namparizi, Tese Tichafa, Neguda kwa izozo, tese ngati fungei nezazo. Tese tichafa, neguda kwa izozo ngati fungei nezazo. Kunyangwe kufurufuru huru kuhuya kuburikiza ne COVID-19. The word of God again is reminding us that tese tichafa, kunyangwe COVID ikashika kumagumo, ikapera, asi chino daungo zikani waneche kuti tese tichafa. So we are reminded here that we will all die. So we must all think about this. Thinking about this is what I've said, that when we talk about it, it when it becomes a talk about deaths which are happening daily, let us also talk to God. Let us also speak to God so that when it, Death comes, it meets us when we are with God and we walk through dark valleys with God. Nirikuti, patiriku taura neze maru ufune kuwanda kwa hari kuita ngati taura iza kare na mngari za kanyanyisa kuitira kutiparuziri kunyanya, marufu pari kunyanya, nesuo nyasha zinu wanda kwa tiri kutiparuno uya tinenge tichizo sanga na ona mngari muma valizi iwayo, muma daki valizi iwayo atizo afambe tiri tega. Those becomes dark valleys cannot We want to walk through those dark valleys on our own. Jesus said, there are many rooms in my father's house. I would not tell you this if it were not true. So this is complimenting the word of God from parents, from ecclesiastes, that we all, we all must die. How could Jesus talk about preparing us houses or rooms or homes if we were not going to die? So it is clear, it is made clear that we will all die and we must all die so that those rooms or those beautiful mansions prepared, we will occupy them one day. But all we need, as I've said, is we talk, we talk to God in times such as this. While we are talking quite a lot about deaths, about how deadly the pandemic is, let us talk to God. So Jesus made it clear, after I go, and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me so that you might be there where I am. John 14, verse 14, verse 1, verse 1. Tenda baba, mutenda ne kwandiri. And this is the same John 14, where Jesus reminds us that when I have gone, I prepare places. So I am saying to those who have lost their loved ones already, there is a home that is promised and death is the way to that home. 
Death is the way to our mansions. Death is the way to our beautiful homes, which Jesus has created. But what we need to do when we grieve, let us grieve with hope, hoping that we will meet with our loved ones when we all get to heaven. So may God bless you. Another teaching verse again, which is of comfort, David make it, makes it clear on Psalm 19 verse 12. Teach us how short our lives really are so that we may be wise. This is David who was praying again, talking to God. So I am saying we must also begin to talk to God in times such as this, saying the same message which David said, teach us how short our lives really are so that we may be wise. And in David, so that it no our so this is the message again of promises of facing death that we must talk to God in times such as this. Help us, teach us to understand how short our days are will teach us so that the spirit of God will teach us. When we grieve, when we talk, we don't talk like people who do not know what God has said about death or about facing death. So, Jesus has pledged to take us home and he does not delegate this task. That's one thing I wanted you to know, Kuti. Jesu aka zipira iye emene kuti tora kuti tezenda kuna baba. He does not delegate anyone. So kanachuya, the word of God also says he comes like a thief when he comes to take us. That's why we are panicking when we hear of our loved ones who are taken surprisingly and sometimes unexpectedly. We talk like we would accept death. Sometimes we say something like that. We wish if we this person had suffered for a long time, seeing the person suffering in the hospital, then we would accept death. This is not the case. We are told he will come like a thief. And Jesus is not delegating this to anyone else. He did it himself. He comes to us and all invite us home when our home is ready. He, he may send missionaries to teach you. That's one thing I wanted to, to you to understand when I say he doesn't delegate. He may send missionaries to teach us angels to protect us and teachers to guide us and singers to inspire us and physicians to heal us. But he sends no one to take us. He sends no one to take you, but he can send a musician to inspire you, to encourage you, doctors to heal you, it's Jesus who send. But when it comes to taking you, he does not delegate. Jesus comes to take you himself. So get prepared, be ready. And what I wanted you to understand again finally is that this job of uh, taking people to his father's home is reserved to Jesus, is not given to anyone. So let us get prepared because we do not know Musinengua, we do not know the day or time when he will come. Have a blessed Sunday today. Let me uh, finish by giving you another promise. Psalm 139 verse 16. All the days planned for me were written in your book before I was one day old. This is David. He knew 
all the days planned for me were written in your book before I was one day old. All our days were written in God's book. They are not re revealed to us. They are not known to us, but they are in God's book. So it's him who knows, who calculate. So if I die at the younger age or at the oldest age, it's because all these days are in God's book. It's him who knows them. Sometimes we make a mistake and I confess that we sometimes wish other people die and say we wish if so and so had died instead of so and so that is not us to say that and I ask God to forgive me and to forgive us because sometimes we have said that or wished that in our hearts that this is not us to do that so this is what I thought I have to share with you this Sunday in the midst of this uh, pandemic when we are losing our loved ones. Just to say, God is with us in all this. That's the main message. I always, I don't always go without mentioning John Wesley because he, he inspired me when he was dying on his deathbed. He made the same statement to his fellow believers when they saw that he, his time was over, he said the best thing of all is that God is with us. Meaning to say, he was saying as he is traveling now in the dark valley, as he faces the dark valley, God is with him and his rod will give him strength and he will be shown light to walk through to the mansions which Jesus said, when I come to take you, you, your home and your mansion will be ready. So smile, Jesus loves you in death or in pain, uh, in death or in life, Jesus is with you. I want to finish uh, by sharing with you this hymn is a popular hymn in the United Methodist Church, both in English and Shona. Uh, tell it to Jesus. If you have worries, if you have problems, tell it to Jesus. I said it earlier on. While you may talk, 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 but also talk to Jesus. Tell Jesus your worries. Tell Jesus again your joys. Let us sing together.
Tell it to Jesus alone. Tell it to Jesus alone. Urukuta mzikire hii juuze jeso pachako. Are you troubled over joy? is departed. Tell it to Jesus. Urukuchikara mangu anahere. Urukuchikara mangu anahere. Juuze jeso pachako. Someone was asking me a question whether uh, the reading which I have put there, Proverbs 16 to 9, uh, is talking about uh, God's grace. Yes, when I say another year of God's grace, and you go to read Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9, it says, we make plans but God determines the steps. This is exactly what I was talking about, that we survive, we live each day by God's grace. We make our plans, but it is by the grace of God that we fulfill or all those plans are fulfilled, which is why we were reminded this morning that Karaimaka Gadzirira Nekuta Amziemu Sinengua each day we receive it is by God's grace. Why? Because our days are known in the book of God Himself. So we don't have them. We don't have, we can have our own diaries. We diarize, but what we diarize for that to happen, it is by God's grace. That is why I say another year of God's grace, reminding each other that yes, let's plan, let's plan what to do, but God makes that happen. And for that to happen, let us talk to God every day, which is why we are encouraging one another to talk about God, not only talking about our plans or what we want to achieve, but talking to God, discussing our plans with God. So this is it. I'm asking you to heal 
in the name of Jesus, those who are wounded emotionally, spiritually, physically, and also mentally, receive your healing in Jesus name this morning, this day. I look forward to seeing you again. Let us receive the grace. Now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen.